and change it. If you take a piece of yam, a whole piece of yam, and you just swallow it, you're going to reduce the process of digestion. So they say to you, I mean, when you're growing up, you tell children, chew. Have you, have you seen those children who don't chew their food? They're in a hurry. Um, 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 um. So you tell them, when you take it, chew it. The chewing of the food is not so you can just chew the food. It's so that you can increase the rate of digestion and ingestion. Because putting the food in your mouth is not the, is not the issue. The issue is that your body must be able to take the nutrients that it needs from the food. Your body already has enzymes and all those things that when the food gets there, it further really like breaks it down to take what it wants. When you hear the word of God, it's not enough to just say mentally assent. Oh, praise God. There is a process in the spirit for digestion and ingestion. That process in the spirit is called meditation. It's called meditation. There's a, there's a word, an old word that old Christians use a lot. I mean, nowadays, if I, if, if I spoke to a teenager and say, contemplation. This, oh, 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 what did you say? But it's an old word that older Christians really use a lot. It's the word contemplation. Contemplation is like what that the goat does. You see the goat grazing. And cow also does it. They just graze and just be going, just graze and be going. Then they sit down and bring that thing back and begin to chew it. You're wondering, he's not grazing. What is he chewing? He is meditating. Now, you all do it. If you ever hate somebody, it's because you did this thing. You cannot successfully hate anybody without this. If you are quarreling, it's because you did this. You cannot successfully quarrel until you do this. What do I mean? There is the encounter. But the encounter is not the problem. Is that when, after you left the encounter, as you were going, you brought it back. When you met somebody, can you imagine what he did? You're bringing it back. This is meditation. Who understands what I'm saying? I mean, imagine something happened between myself and Pastor Tunde. Then I speak to her. Then I speak to her. I have repetition is the law of deep and lasting impressions. I speak to you. I speak to you. I speak to you. I speak to you. Four impressions plus the first encounter. Who is here now? Say, Pastor, I don't talk to anybody. But you talk to yourself. All by yourself. The more you rehash that thing in your spirit, the more you strengthen it. The more you rehash it, the more you strengthen it. The problem now is not the encounter, it's the meditation. Oh, who 